Hey crafty people, welcome back to my channel. Today we're going to be having some rainbow fun for my AECP, I always struggle to say that, level 2 class and we are looking at polychromatic so I went with all the colours. I'm going to be playing with the bamboo roses set from Altenew. Um I like that it's a little bit whimsical um, and I feel like this is a kind of set where you don't have to worry too much about being realistic it is meant to be um yeah a little bit whimsical um i'm going to be using a sheet of bristol smooth uh, because i'm going to be using my arteza 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 real brush markers um to to color in my my images today um it's not going to be a one layer card because I wanted to to put it onto a craft card base but it is a one layer panel so what I did, I don't know if you can see that that little sheet that I'm using there I made a bit of a map first about where I wanted all of my images to, to be um, so that I can then lay that on the top, line my images back up with it and print and I know that the roses are going to be distributed in a way that I like and I know that I'm not going to mess up the placement <laughs> on a piece of Bristol because that's that's quite a bit more expensive than just cheap printer copy paper. Um, I use my Misty because I, there's no way that I wouldn't, my hands do not allow for for easy re re-stamping or even just first stamping sometimes uh, and also I wanted to make sure that I'd got really thick bold black lines so I did double and even triple stamp in some places so there's the panel I'm just flashing my the colour choices that I, I already made um, and my original plan was to add a little bit of colour and to soften it out with some just water on a paintbrush I tried it, didn't like it, wanted bolder colour so I gave up the paintbrush completely and I just covered that flower in colour um, th th it's, it's, it's not, it's not um, realistic in any way it's not, <laughs> it's just yeah bold colour um, so I painted each rose to start with in just a single colour. Um, I chose to do the green a little bit turquoisey rather than green green because I knew that I'd be using green for my leaves and I'd, I wanted to try and balance the colour out a little bit. Um, I also did two blues um, which start did look very different from each other but in the end they do look a little bit similar so I think if I were to make this again I would probably change that that would be what I, what I would change about it um, but but yeah um, so <laughs> the aim with the this rainbow card um, is that it is packed full of colour but that colour is balanced by a lot of white space um, which again does not have to be white but in this case is um, so it's it's a pop of colour but it's a little bit more sedate than than some of the rainbow cards that, that I make um, I'm just using a second darker colour um, and adding some some shadows in not really bothered about where they go the, it's really more about what I think will look good than where I think any shadows would fall because they're not realistic uh, drawings and they're not they're not meant to be um, hyper realistic or at least that's not how I, I perceive them and how I wanted them in this this card um, so each each rose I just used two different 
colours, a lighter and a dark and just blended them out a little bit. Um, the These Arteza, Arteza um, real brush markers, they are very highly pigmented so you do get a big pop of colour. Um, I chose just a couple of greens to do each leaf um, so that, that I'd just got again just a little bit of a change in tone and um, yeah I just did the same thing for for each of them. I also added a very light grey I can't remember what it's called like dolphin grey or something I have all the, the colour names and everything else listed below and on my blog post for this um, but yeah I just went round the edge of all the flowers and leaves with a really light grey um, I just like it basically I, I, I think it looks nice I think that it makes the flowers pop off the page a little bit more to have that almost shadow around them um, so I do I, I tend to do that with most images that I colour just add a little grey border it doesn't take a second and I just think I just really like the look of it um, so if you've not tried that before then maybe give it a go see what you think see whether you like it let me know the panel that I'm actually working on is uh, four and a half by six and a half inches um, because I wanted to put it on a final card size of five by seven which is what that that craft card blank is um, I really wanted to balance out the the quite in your face color um, with a much more calm the, in the rest of the card I kind of feel like it's it's like a rainbow card for adults does that does that make sense I mean I'm an adult I'd like any kind of rainbow card but I know not everyone feels like that so maybe this is more like a an a mature rainbow card let's say that mature yes um, I have to have some sort of border around my cards so that's just how I like it I feel like it brings everything together brings your eye in a little bit more ties the whole design together so I just added a thin black line with a fine liner and ruler um, and in case you're wondering yes I have messed up many cards doing this but on this occasion I was lucky and I did manage to get to the end of that without um, without like, messing it up <laughs> I added liberal amounts of foam tape on the back of my panel um, again this is the Arteza one it is fantastic love it um, real bargain I do probably add too much foam tape but I just I like to feel that it's supported I don't want that panel sagging or getting squashed a lot of my cards get sent in the post so I think it's important to make sure that it's supported I add glue over the foam tape not because the foam tape needs the glue just because that helps me it gives me a few seconds to move the panel if I get it wrong I fold back the corners on the pieces around the edge that was a tip from some and I, I'm really sorry I don't remember who it was whose video I saw that on but it's an amazing tip because you can line it up and once you've decided that you've got it right press it down and pull the rest of the release tape Um, just added a few black Nouveau drops um, just because I think it ties things in together um, I'm quite happy with how it turned out let me know what you think and if you give any of the tips that I've I've said today ago um, I'd really love it if you could tag me in I'll have all my social media links below and 
I hope you have a fantastic day, everybody, and um, stay crafty. Bye.